Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna share with you how you can take this and make it into this. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I did it. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right guys, so let's jump into the design of this sign using Silhouette Cameo, or actually Silhouette Studio, and gonna cut it on the Silhouette Cameo. This particular sign is going to be uh, 60 inches tall and 7.073 inches wide. This is going to be made from a typical one by eight. This was an eight footer and I cut it down to five, uh, five feet and I didn't do anything to the, to the width of it. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is grab your monogram, your florals, right? That's what you're gonna wanna do. In this particular case, I have this uh, monogram and what I'll do is just ungroup everything and all I want are these uh, leave things here so let's just ungroup everything and get rid of these and then we'll group these two to select them all just click and drag here out on outside of it and drag over it and then you're gonna right click or get this option here to group them and now anytime you move these these are gonna be grouped and you can resize them at the same time as well all right so now this customer's last name is going to be, uh, it starts with a G. So let's go ahead and click here on this text option here. We're gonna click anywhere on the screen and we're gonna make sure that this, our caps lock is on because they want a capital letter and we're gonna type in the letter G. You can't really see that. So let's go ahead and click out of it to allow us then to click back on it and resize it just by clicking on this bottom right uh, square and just kind of extend that out. What I like to do here is go over to the right here and click on the fill panel. Click on that and I wanna make this black. It's just easier to see. So now we'll get it in the middle of between these two um, flower or leaf things. Just kinda make it bigger. At this point you can size it but what you're gonna see is that sometimes when you change the font it'll uh, change the size of it. So let's see here. What do we want? So go ahead and select the font that you want Let's just go ahead and for example for just the sample purpose here in this one It's a different font overall that I'll choose but just for example, let's say you want that one Go ahead and size it to what you'd like Okay, let's say like that. Let's say I'm happy with that So go ahead and select that and it, it could be like way out here. What you're gonna want to do is just select the floral part and the letter and then you're gonna come over to the scale, oh, I'm sorry, the transform panel here on the right hand side. And in the align option, which should automatically be selected first, you're gonna click on this horizontal. You're gonna align it horizontally to the center. And then you're gonna horizontally, uh, vertically align it to the middle. So now these two uh, vectors, you could say, or two images, are going to be aligned and the letter G is aligned in the middle uh, between these two florals all right and then the last thing what I like to do is just again select everything and group it so now every time I am moving things around these two um, or this whole image here will be sized correctly and together all right so let's go ahead and move on to the next portion of the sign which is the the welcome part what I like to do is create a box that is the size of my sign. So I'll click on this drawing tool and select this rectangle and just click anywhere on the screen once. And this kind of activates a pivot point. And so you can just uh, you know create any size that you want. You don't have to create the exact size right now. We're gonna resize it. And so let's say I have that, it's selected. I need to click on this arrow tool just to get rid of the, the box drawing tool. So now that it is uh, selected, I'm going to come back over here to the transform panel. This time I'm going to click on the scale. And then here I'm going to specify the dimensions. I want this sign, the width of it to be 0, 7.063. It's actually 7.0625, but it updates uh, or it automatically rounds it up. And, and this is based off a of measurement on my measuring tape. Go ahead and measure it, obviously, uh, to get the correct uh, measurement. This is what I measured mine to. Okay. And so that's the width. And then the height is going to be 60. 
All right, so it's still selected, and you can see here now that this side or this box has now been made to a 60 inch height and 7.063 width. Let's actually go back here to this and let's create the welcome part. We're going to click on this text option again. We're going to type in all caps welcome. Again, I click off of it. I can't see that, so let's resize it. I want to see it in black just so, again, it's a little bit more easy to see. And for me, I like Times New Roman. So that's what the text I'll use. And so how do I make it vertical now? Really, it's very simple. Go ahead and double click on it to get this, um, I don't really know what it's called, but this, uh, this different option of editing of your text. And you're going to get this double arrow and you're gonna click on this little blue bar and you're gonna drag it to the left until it becomes vertical, just like that. All right, so we're gonna click off of it again. Now we're gonna click back on. So it's a lot of clicking off and on just to get different uh, editing options. So here's that part again, just double clicked on that. And then I gotta click off of it to be able to just click back on to now be able to edit like sizing and things like that. But with that being said, we're gonna click on this textile panel. We're gonna open up the textile panel. And down here, uh, there's a lot of options here, but don't worry about so all these other things. What you really wanna just focus is on this justify center. So check out, when I click on this, check the welcome uh, text. Now it's centered. All right. Now this is uh, what I want to do next. I want to br bring this image to my sign. So again, this is my actual sign, dim the dimensions of my actual sign. How do I, this is way too big. So I need to select that option or select this image and I need to resize it to fit within the sign. So again, just a matter of playing with it, you can zoom in, zoom out, I'm gonna zoom in here. All right, and this is now a personal choice. How much space do you want on the outside of the florals? I mean, you can get it right up to the edge. You can leave some more space. And again, right now it's kind of off. Don't worry about that. We're gonna um, mess with that in a second. Again, it's too big. So we need to select that. We need to bring this down because at the same time, it's not only shortening the text, it's also um, the width of it is uh, decreasing as well. And you may say, well, well, why don't you just do the, the size here? Can't you just do this? You can, but it kind of throws off the, the proportion proportionality of it. So I'm gonna undo that. Just do undo a few of those. And uh, again, so I like to go with the, the corners and then decrease it that way, maintaining proportionality. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with that. Uh, again, I'm going to select everything. I'm gonna select not only my sign in the background, I'm gonna select the, the floral and the letter and then the welcome portion, all three of those. And now what I wanna do is go back to the transform panel. I need to uh, uh, align this to the center. Okay, so now the floral part and the welcome sign are aligned to the center of this sign. But if you see here, this G, and really everything here, the text is too high up. It just looks where there's a lot of space down here. So what, how do I fix that? Well, if you select all three of these, the sign, the floral, and the welcome text, and you click align vertically to the middle, Check out what happens. Now everything is aligned to the center of the sign, including your floral. So you wanna select the floral and the welcome and group those. Now when you select the sign and the text and you align vertically, now everything shifts up. Again, proportional, proportional and together. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to play with it. Are you happy with that? There's some you know, it actually looks kind of good to me right there. That's definitely enough space there on the top, on the bottom. It's not all, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I've already created it on this. This is um, a different text G. So I'm gonna go with this one. I've already sized it correctly. Everything's according to what I, want, I need it to be. And so at this point, 
we're going to send it to Silhouette Cameo for cutting. So you need to select uh, this page setup panel. And here you're going to select, obviously it's a Cameo. The cutting mat is going to be none because in my particular case, it's a 12 by 12 cutting mat or 12 by 12 cutting area. And so this is more than 50 inches. So we're not going to be able to use a cutting mat on this. So how to do, so we're going to select none and the media size is going to be custom. In once you click custom, you are then able to edit the, uh, the width and the height. In this case, I'll keep it 12 inches because the 12 inch width does not change, but the height is going to change. So I entered 60. One last thing that you wanna keep in mind when you cut your vinyl, you wanna make sure that it exceeds the actual text portion of your sign. As you can see here, this particular text portion of the sign is only 56.75, so almost three quarters, 56 and three quarters. What I wanna do is, and what I actually did is I cut a 60 inch uh, piece of vinyl to make sure that this extends um, past the text portion and I'm not you know messing the the cut process so let's go ahead and switch out from the design portion of because that's complete and now let's go ahead and send it on through uh, to the cutter so that's the end of part one guys take a look at part two to see how we finish off this sign we'll see you in the next one <laughs>